Hallelujah. God has a better plan than we could ever even try to outdo. Hallelujah. We're blessed to be in the Lord's house. Thank you, Jesus. There's not a better place to be than in the house of the Lord, worshiping the one who breathes through us, hallelujah, in us, through us, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on. So I heard you beg the name, come talk to me, come with me, and my heart responded, I am coming, coming. coming. nothing to complain about. Amen. 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 We're so blessed to have all the kids in the house. And we're, praying that they, we're praying that they just be peaceful and go to sleep. Hallelujah. They don't have to go to sleep, but we're praying that they do go to sleep. Hallelujah. <laughs> and just rest, hallelujah, in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're so thankful. We're so thankful. We are continuously reminded of how good God is. And he, and he is so worthy of all glory, so worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. There's so many exciting things ahead of us. Amen. Come on. Come on. There's so many exciting things going on. 
And even though we're living in this crazy world, we can stay firm and sound. Our, our minds are sound. Hallelujah. Even though we don't understand a lot of the things going around us, we're so thankful that our Father does. Amen. So when we trust him, we'll be okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come like a river, 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 come like a river
like a river, come 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 like a river. Nothing more we desire, nothing at all. Oh Lord, no, we believe you're the one, one worth it all. There's nothing more, there's nothing more we desire. today that we participated in, hallelujah, whatever thought, whatever feeling, forgive us, Lord, whatever action, thank you, Lord, for your goodness, 
for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
represented in this house tonight Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord we thank you Lord for all of the leaders every leader every labor in this church and ministry and their families we thank you for our church family hallelujah we thank you for this house this ministry and church hallelujah and for what you are doing in this place through this place thank you for using us Lord for your purpose and for your plan. We lift up this beautiful island, this state. We're so thankful to live in this beautiful place. Thank you, Lord. We pray for believers, for Christians worldwide, Lord, that they would run to you, that you would prosper them, that you would bless them, that you would pour your peace upon them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every church preaching the uncompromised word of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful night. Thank you for the word that is going to go out and not return void. Thank you, Lord, that your peace would saturate your children in the house tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. From the littlest to the biggest, from the youngest to the oldest, thank you, Lord, that your peace will saturate us in this place tonight. Thank you, Lord, for you are holy, you are worthy, you are faithful. None like you, Lord. Thank you for the blood, Jesus, that you shed on Calvary for each and every one of us. Because of you, we have life. We have abundant life. We have blessed life. We have eternal life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every associate pastor and their families, the youth pastor, the worship pastor, and their families. Hallelujah. Thank you for the apostle of the house and for his family. We thank you for the missionary in the house and for his family. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in the lives of your children. Thank you, Lord. Praying for those who are hurting, those who have lost loved ones, Lord, that you would comfort them and you would blanket them with your peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this nation. We pray for our nation. We pray for our government. We pray for every soldier at war at home, our veterans, their families. And, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the privilege we have of being your children. Thank you for the favor, for the 
for your hand of favor upon us. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray and say amen. Hallelujah. 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 As you make your way back to your seats, give somebody a high five. Greet your neighbor. Fist bump. Chicken wing. Shoot the shaka. Say, blessed to see you in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whoo, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Welcome to Wednesday Night Power Service. Welcome our online family. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Uh, what did you expect? <laughs> what did you expect coming to church? Bells and whistles, balloons. What did you expect? Huh? Or did you expect God's word to come alive? Did you anticipate God's word coming alive in you, in, the, in your neighbor, in your family, in those coming to the house of God? What did you expect? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord. And we thank you for the praise and worship, Lord, and for your spirit here in this place, Father. We thank you for your people, your sons and your daughters, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for... for your healing touch upon each and every one of us, your love, your grace, your mercy. I pray my flesh down in the name of Jesus. I pray by the power of the blood that the Holy Spirit will rise big in me right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you, family. Oh, such a different dynamics, yeah, with the kids in the house, yeah. Yeah. We got to be the example, eh? Yeah. The kids, the kids looking up at us. Oh, how come mommy not clapping her hand? How come daddy not clapping his hand? Oh, how come I stay jumping over here, but they're not jumping over there? Oh, man. Oh, conviction. Conviction. Owie. Owie. They're looking at us. They're watching us. You know what I'm saying? And we expect them to, to do what we do and learn what we learn. But we're not doing them. Oh, yes, I said we. Hello, I'm here with you. Yeah, oh, do this. Do this, do this, do this. Oh. oh, shucks, I forgot to do this. And they're looking at you like, oh, if you didn't do that, dad. But they don't like say, yeah, because they know better. <clears throat> yeah, kids, you guys know better? Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my church family, Lord. I pray uh, increase uh, like never before, Lord. The seen and the unseen, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for such an awesome church family and for their their sowing of seed, Lord, into your kingdom. And I pray, Father, that you overflow them, Lord God. Pour out more and more and more and more and more than they can ever think or imagine. In Jesus' name, Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Give him some praise. Clap like you mean it. Clap like you love him. You know? <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, yeah, let's go to the word. Let's go to the word. Let's go to the word in Matthew. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11. <clears throat> And starting at verse 8, just wanted to open up with these scriptures. In the easy-to-read version, um, it said, um, yeah, I was, I got to get used to the thing being on the screen. So let's read together. Really, what did you expect to see? Someone dressed in fine clothes? Of course not. People who wear fine clothes are all in king's palaces. So what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, John is a prophet, but I tell you, he is more than that. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord God, that we need to expect 
what you're going to do. We need to expect what you want to do and what your word says you're going to do. Not what we want to do. Not what we expect to go on in, in our everyday lives, in the houses of God. We thank you, Lord God, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, this, this title came to me in, a while back. And, uh, you know, it's even... Uh, even growing up, well, you know, there's a lot of things we wonder, and we, we, you know, as kids, we just, you know, how come this and that, you know, really, what, what did we, you know, that certain things that we expected to go on, hallelujah, excuse me, sorry, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> Trying to integrate technology you gotta we gotta we gotta be ever learning you know you know with you know the phones and the pad, ipads and all of that and yeah so <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah so expect the word expect uh the definition is believe that someone or something will arrive soon yeah Someone or something will arrive soon. When we when we have when we come to the house of God and we just expect, okay, this is what we do, this is how it's gonna be, and then I'm gonna go home. When you have that attitude, that's exactly what's gonna be. You can go home, and the change not gonna come. But when we, if we come with the expectation of what God's word is gonna do, we, in in the house of God, in our own houses, in our lives, that's when. The changes come. That's when the move comes. That's when the move happens. When, when we, when we expect the word, the living word of God to activate. That's when the power will come. That's when the whoo, the glory, and and all the stuff that we've been taught. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the world, the world expected, the world expected everything to go back to normal. Okay, this is going to all just blow over. We're going to do exactly what we did. We're going to sit in our own stupidity just like when before the pandemic and the shutdown. And it's going to go right back to where I, the way I want it, how I want it, what I wanted to do, what I was doing, and all of that. Especially being in the, in the security business or uh, connected to the, the hospitality business, I ain't pay money to be here. This is how it's supposed to be. I expect you to do this. This has to be here. This has to be right here, right now. Well, brother, first of all, don't come over here without one mask on because that's the rules of the property, okay? Slow your roll. Take it easy, okay? Things have changed. It's not normal. It's change. And, and, and even with the big change, even with the big change, people don't know how to act, yeah? People don't know how to act. Oh, oh. You know, we're all excited when you wear a mask. Then we go inside. Hold a lady yelling at you. Put your mask on. Put it on. Put it on. I'm going to call security. I'm going to. Hold on. Excuse me. Hold on. Put your hand down. You're smiling. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Why are you smiling? Uh, I love football. Oh, you love football. You think football is fun? Yeah. Fun, sir. Yeah, yeah, fun, sir. Fun, sir. You think football is still fun? Uh, uh, I think, oh, come I on. Think, I think. I think. Oh, first you smile, then you think. You think football is still fun? Um, um, no, 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 it's not no, fun anymore, no, is it? Not no, even a little bit, huh? No. Not even a little bit. No. Um, yeah? Not even a little bit. Yeah? Zero. Zero. Zero fun, sir. That's zero what fun, I thought. Sir. Go ahead, yes, sit sir. down. Right. Sit down. <laughs> Give Brother Gito a hand, guys. You guys never expect that, huh? Thank you, Lord. That scene, I, I, I wanted, I wanted that's, that's from Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. The boy came up. Oh, he thought, I had a running back. I won't play the running back position. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. I had a number one guy. I had a number one singer. When I go to the church, they're going to tell me I can go sing. Eh? Expecting to go do stuff. Eh? But no can follow instructions. So when he came in, uh, he was raising his hand, just like Brother Gino. And the coach came in. Why? Why? Because he was expecting to play, to start. 
but he never go through the training yet. He never even start the training. So he got what? Sit down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love that movie. So much discipline. So much discipline that no more, no more today. I just get so offended. So, oh. Some of you are nervous, your kids stay. Sit down. Sit down. They won't, they won't scold you. They won't scold you. Sit down. You want, you want Auntie Dame, Uncle to scold you? Sit down. Nervous. No be nervous. We family. Oh, Apostle was saying, oh, just like Pentecostal style. Oh, let me tell you old school Pentecostal style, okay? My mother, we acting up, when no matter where we're sitting, we like try hiding in the back, come in the front, go in the middle, sit between the two big uncles. That sound like my kid. Where he stay? Oh, you acting up. Get over here. Pull him by the ear. All the way up to the front of the church. Sit down. Then that's not enough. Grab the water hose. Hoo, hoo. In the church. Inside the church. Not outside. Nowadays, they drag the kid outside. Oh, he's smiling out the door. Go outside in the pocket. Come back, he's like, hmm, hello. Nothing would happen. Hallelujah. We got to expect the word to come alive before we hit the doors. Not when we come inside. Oh, fuck Oh, I have a long day. How's my hair? Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you the day I had. Tell God the day you had. We all trying to, we all trying to get delivered together. We all trying to move in the spirit. We all trying to let bring the glory of God into the house so we can move forward, not backwards, not sidewards. We we're going sideways. Somebody falling over, pull them back. Hallelujah. The world expected everything to go exactly back to where it's supposed to be. Even, <laughs> even some. Some property there. Like, oh, what happened to this over here? Oh, well, things have changed. Oh, why? <laughs> Ask the govern government why. We're not going to go there. Don't worry. Ask the government why. They're making up sorry. Oh, <clears throat> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They're the ones. It's their fault. That's why the chairs don't stay over there anymore. Stay over here. <laughs> the chairs not inside, outside. No can see it with your family that you live with already. Oh, I got to stop. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yet the world doesn't even realize that it's worse than before. It's worse than what they made it before. They thought they was gonna grab control. They thought they was gonna. They thought so many other things. They thought they thought so many wrong things. Why they expected to to they expected to get the majority. They expected to get power. They expected, but there's only one power source. God. Father, Abba. Hallelujah. In the word, it says, these times are going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Help us, Jesus. People are scared. They're confused. Going crazy. Government officials and media pretending that, like nothing is wrong. Like, what's the matter with you guys? Why are you acting like that? Well, you told me I got to wear a mask. No, got to wear a mask. Got to go inside. No, go inside. Uh, I got to six feet, three feet, two, four feet. 20 feet. That's why I'm, I'm upset. You don't make up your mind. Stand inside, outside, order, online, no online. Oh my gosh, online ordering. I gotta pray for myself. They say, oh, it's so convenient. It's supposed to be so simple. Go, you press the button, this one you like, like this, this, and this. Send total. Get three charges on my on my card. You know how I find out? My wife. Praise the Lord. Excuse me, there's three charges on top of the car. I don't know, I press them on. You sure? You never go. You never go. Because you just mad, I never move fast enough for you. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church, the church expected everything to go back exactly the way it's supposed to be. No, 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 no. God was cleaning house in 2020. Pastor Bobby continually says it. A sense of urgency. Apostle, we were just talking about it. You know what a sense of urgency means? That everybody in the house move. You know how it was for us kids, the siblings? Mom is upset. There's a sense of urgency. Okay, let's look busy. 
We wasn't, oh, that's all right. She, mm, sitting on the couch. Oh, no, there's a sense of urgency. Let me tell you. If you ain't moving, you out. If you ain't moving, you're getting booted. Amen? There's a sense of urgency. There's no, there's no kicking back anymore. There's no, oh, uh, maybe Jesus can come in 2022. There, there's none of that. It's waiting. Waiting for him. Occupying. Terry. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. No, you know, many church people is like, you know, oh, we just, it'll be okay. We'll just close down for a little while. We'll just shut down and we'll come back. You know, I'll leave. I'll leave as the usher and I'll come right back as the usher. Uh, maybe God was working some things in your life. Maybe God was showing you showing you something that you need to change or need to work on, need to fix. I mean, when I was watching the online service, I was like, oh, Jesus. I, can't, I cannot do this. I, can't, I cannot do the, the TV. And I, you know, my spirit is longing to be in the house of God. Can I, I cannot do this, Jesus, please. I mean, you know, you know, get plenty of guys like that, that in the world. I need this. Nah. That's how my spirit man was, like, oh, <laughs> you know, why? Plenty of distractions. It's easy. It's easy to get comfortable in your own house. It's easy to just come, come to, oh, it's Wednesday night. Whip. Oh. Now, if you cannot, you, amen, praise the Lord. Just like, you know, like we're still thinking, okay, is my kids behaving? If not, just come in the lobby. That's why we put the TV over there. Was it for decoration? <laughs> you know, if mama got to go take care of the baby, you can still catch the word. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is always thinking of you. Amen. He's always thinking of you. He's always thinking about us. Hallelujah. Oh, we just take a spiritual sabbatical this year. No. Let me tell you the difference between, the only difference between having Jesus and not having Jesus is when you have Jesus, you're winning the battle every day. If you know more Jesus, you're losing the battle every day. So either way, you're fighting. So minus will win when you fight, right? Amen. I mean, I caught on. Apostle is sharing about we're living eternal. It's like, I didn't expect to wake up with this pain, but let me know. Let me tell you, devil, I'm still, I still win. Why? Because Jesus won. Because Jesus went on the cross, died for my sins, and you lose. I never expect to wake up with this headache, but thank you, Jesus. I'm a victorious warrior for you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, help us, Lord Jesus. You know what, you know what that was, yeah, the closure? It was this one, bye week. You know, in, in, in sports, we used to call it bye week. Hallelujah. Bye week when you went. You know what I thought? You know, I, expect, I, I expected that I knew what bye week meant. Because, you know, the, 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 the I know, right? <laughs> Wasn't what I thought. In sports, by refers to a team automatically advancing. Hey, see, Apostle caught that. We automatically win advance. We never, we never close down. Yeah, the doors are closed for, for all the, the geniuses, praise the Lord. We never, yeah, the doors are closed, but we spiritually was advancing. We spiritually advanced in this house, and I pray for the other houses out there too that was obedient to, to God and His Word. You spiritually advanced automatically, automatically advanced to the next round of tournament play without competing. And bye week refers to scheduled off week for a given team. Ooh, it's nice, huh? I know, okay, I was only me, I was like, oh, wow. Nice, relax, you know, church. And then look, oh, I got to get back in the house. I don't know, you know, because I need help. I need deliverance. But I know that's only me. I know that's only me. No way. I'm not going to put nobody else on the spot. But the bye week, we, we took it, took it off, but we automatically advanced. Hallelujah. Why? Because we followed the instructions of God through the word, through our pastors, through the leaders, through the movement, through the instruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Whoo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Hmm. You know, it's thank you, Jesus, for the word. Thank you, Lord, for your word. A word that'll never that'll last, that'll go on forever and forever. Hallelujah. I thought about when, you know, growing up, I finally realized the reason God 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 liked to uh uh, wrestle with, with my brain a lot. Um, thank you, Jesus. Still get brain for wrestle with, but um, hallelujah. But it's funny how so many people think they know everything, yet they never learn nothing. <laughs> thank you, Apostle, for laughing because I didn't laugh too when I got that one. I never make like I knew that. You know, because like, I remember growing up, my, my mom's two younger brothers, they're kind of, they, they acted, we, we still respect them and call them uncle, but they acted like our older brothers. Like they wrestle with us in the pool, practically halfway drowning us. You know the kind. Like, stop it, stop it. They're laughing at us. Yeah, that's my uncles. But I always used to think, why do we go? You know, when we do something that we're not supposed to do, they go, hee hee, do it again. Why? Because we know not to run around the pool, but we still do them because we never learn. Okay, I got that. No worries. I got it at least. We never learn. I always tell her, stop jumping off the fence into the pool. You can crack your head. I know. Still do them. Why? Then what? We get hurt. We land on somebody else. Get leaking. Oh, you guys never learned yet. Wee-hee. Do them again. That's my uncle them. I love them. I miss them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what did you expect? What do you expect? I was, you know, just... Studying and like, oh Lord, I didn't expect to go this way with with the with the message that I had. And I had a couple of scriptures lined up, and I was like, no, but I like stay here because I feel safe right here. <laughs> I feel safe right here, Lord. Give me these scriptures. I know they kept pulling me one one out of way. Why? Because we we know we don't expect for somebody come up and they do like one small ski. We don't expect. Let me tell you, Pentecostal style. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pastor Orlando, come. You gonna sing one song? Uh, you gonna grab the ukulele? I don't know how to play it. You can grab the ukulele. You gonna sing one song, okay? And then um um uh Sister Special, you gonna come in after? You gonna do one sign language, okay? That's how it was. We never expect to do that, but we always have to be ready. I never expect to preach tonight. But I was I, I the Lord expected me to be ready every day. <laughs> the apostle's like, oh shucks. Hold on, I gotta remember. The Lord the Holy Spirit will bring it back to me. Bring it back to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Usually he calls and he, he makes a joke about it. He's like, Oh, are you gonna preach? The other day he said, Oh, and by the way, when the last time you didn't preach, yeah, I like be smart there. Oh, uh, I preach every day. Oh, not not you guys. I know you guys don't do that. You guys don't do that. You guys don't think like that. You don't think, oh. But I love my pastor, and I, I, I bless. And and when I say that, I mean that. And I'm not going to get brownie points for that. And he going to tell me, too. Yeah, like every day, like how he said. And I love it. I love having all the kids in the house. Look at them. The fruit. The fruit of this house. Thank you, Lord. Give God some praise. Give him a wave offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot base our expectations on what we know. We have to base our expectations on the word of God, not by our feelings, not by our emotions, not by our knowledge. On the word of God. Hallelujah. Expectation. The act or state of expecting. Prospects of inheritance. Hallelujah. I don't know you guys are all smart about it. I wanted to know what prospects meant. And it says the possibility or likelihood of some future event occurring. Apostles have been sharing that. We have to pay attention. The inheritance from the secret places. We have to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to get into the word to know what the Lord expects. Amen. You know what is the hard part in all of this? Expecting God to fulfill his word. Expecting the word to come alive. Expecting the movement of God in the houses of God. The spirit, the glory to fall. The hard part is, brace yourself now. 
The hard part is we got to follow instructions. Ah. I know I felt my ear pull too, don't worry. Got to follow instructions. Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Got to follow instructions. Amen. In the previous chapter, chapter 10 of Matthew. Let's let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Hallelujah. Starting at verse 5. And it says, Jesus sent the 12 men out with these instructions. Don't go to the non-Jewish people and don't go into any town where the Samaritans live, but go to the people of Israel. They are like sheep that are lost. When you go, tell them this, God's kingdom is now very near. Heal the sick, bring the dead back to life, heal the people who have leprosy and force demons out of people. Let's stop right there. That's the stuff we're supposed to be doing and expecting in the house of the Lord. Not expecting, oh, we're going to play two songs, this going to happen, and that. Woo, let me tell you. Encourage the kids. No more room over here. Hey, just go up the aisle. Yeah, go over here. Get room over here. Get room over there. Instruct the kids. Hey, come over here. Yeah, come. But what? We got to follow the instructions ourselves. Okay, I'm going to go back to the, to the safety of the word. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. And force demons out of people. I give you these powers freely. So help others freely. Don't carry any money with you, gold or silver or copper. Verse 10. This is easy to read version. Don't carry a bag. Tell, tell, take only the clothes and sandals you're wearing. And don't take a walking stick. A worker should be given what he needs. When you enter the city or town, find some worthy person there and stay in his home until you leave when you enter that home say peace be with you if the people in that home welcome you they are worthy of your peace may they have the peace you wished for them but if they don't welcome you they are not worthy of your peace take back the peace you wished for them and if the people in the home or town refuse to welcome you or listen to you, then leave the, that place and shake the dust off your feet. I can assure you that, the, on, that on the judgment day, it will be worse for that town than for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. With all of that instruction, going into the 16th verse, God, Jesus explains to them, this is what you can expect. He's tell, so he, after the instructions, Jesus gives them the instructions. This is the instructions. Follow these instructions. But that's how good our God is. That's how good our Jesus is. He don't just go and then leave you hanging. When our pastors give you instructions, they don't just go figure them out. They become the example. Give you the instructions. Okay, this is the, this is this is how you do it. Teach, explain, instruct, show. So Jesus said, "Listen." In verse sixteen, this is what you can expect when you listen and follow the instructions of the word. I am sending you, and you will be like sheep among wolves. Sheep among wolves. They're not going to be nice to you. You're going to say, Jesus love you. Ah! Spit at you. Chorox. I remember one time, Old Farrington Highway, waving signs against abortion. Guys, why not style throwing rocks? We're only eight years old. I was like, oh, get, good thing we get the sign. Pa, pa, pa. Like sheep among wolves. So be smart like snakes, but also be like doves and don't hurt anyone. Yeah, if you, see, apostle didn't get it. Jesus get a sense of humor. God has a sense of humor. Oh, help us, Lord. It says, be careful. In verse 17, be careful. There are people who will arrest you and take you to be judged. 
They will whip you in their synagogues. You will be taken to stand before governors and kings. People will do this to you because you follow me. So you like being a Christian, huh? It's fun, right, being a Christian, huh? It's still fun? Is it still fun being a Christian? Huh? You think? Oh, first you smile, you laugh, then you think? You think being a Christian is still fun? <laughs> Sir. When you are arrested, don't worry about what to say or how you should say it. At, the, at that time, you will be given the words to say. It will not really be you speaking. The, sp the spirit of your father will be speaking through you. So he gives the instructions and he says, but you, this is what you, you need to expect this to happen. People will come against you. They're going to do all of this. They're going to take you. Oh, I'm going to take you caught. You're infringing on my rights. Huh. Your rights is on that side of the line. You draw the line. Your rights is over there. It's my rights. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It says it in the word. We're going to go through that. But why does he finish it that way? Because you're still going to have one chance for plead Jesus' case. You're still going to have one chance for show the world. In those, la in those last few minutes, you're still going to have one chance to share Jesus. So don't, be, don't, be, don't worry about what you're going to say or what am I going to do if this happens. God already has planned a way out. He already has it planned for us on a way out. And praise God if the way out is Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. In verse 21, it reads, Brothers will turn against their own brothers and hand them over to be killed. So not only for the house of God, the world. The world, they're already losing it, man. Too much masks, that's why. Too much breathing their own air. They gotta get some fresh air. I never understand that for Hawaii. We get the cleanest air and you still trying to suffocate us and it's like we live in the valley isle, guys. The wind go like this, bruh. The wind, she go. Take all the bad wind, throw them out. Even when the bugger get the the volcano air comes still, still. The Lord goes, okay, they need one refill. <laughs> you know how you, you watch people's uh, tents going across the beach like that? <laughs> oh, that looks like a breath of fresh air right there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 21 to 23 says, Brothers will turn against brothers, their own brothers, and hand them over to be killed. Fathers will hand over their own children to be killed. Children will fight against their own parents and will have them killed. Everyone will hate you because you follow me. Yeah. He's telling them, everybody going to hate you because you follow me. Do you still want to be a Christian? Yeah. What did you expect? What are you expecting? I'm expecting God to meet, supply every need. I'm God, expecting the dead to rise, the, 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 the disease to be healed, the, everything. You got to know what to expect. It cannot be self. It cannot be my own. It cannot be my own family. We the body. Hallelujah. 23, when you're treated badly in one city, go to another city. Oh, Jesus, he's so smart, yeah? They're not like you over there. Just go over there. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Bing. Oh. We make things so complicated. We expect the word. Oh, I don't understand. I got to read the children's Bible. Oh, only get picture. Oh, I get them now. I see the picture. You see them? You got the picture? Me, I need pictures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that would show you guys off with Brother Gino coming up here, but I need picture. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Go to another city. I promise you that, that you will not finish going to all the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. 
There's still work to be done. We cannot go out, go outside after church and be like, KG, just come. <laughs> Maybe if I stand over here. How come he never come? Because there's still stuff to be done. There's still souls to be saved. There's still family members that are lost. There's still the drug addict that needs to recover. There's still the incarcerated person that wants to come out and change their life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what can you expect? What do the instructions say? Hallelujah. Men, we, we famous for this, yeah? What the instructions say? Okay, yeah. Okay, pass me down. Yeah, no need that one. Oh, uh, no, no. That's too much. I don't know. How come they give six? What do you need four? <laughs> oh, I remember when I was cooking with my grandmother. You leave something in a hole. <laughs> Don't forget to put that in, boy. That's the secret ingredient. <laughs> okay. There are plenty of secret ingredients inside the word. If you leave that one out, not going to taste the same. Not going to come out the way it's supposed to. Not going to come out the correct way. Hallelujah. I thought of my, uh, my, my, the Lord put upon my heart to share about my Hanai sister. Oku. Uh, some of them might, some of the ladies might know her uh, by name, but she really has a mouth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Just being honest. And uh, she came. We were teenagers, probably in middle school. And um, both my mom and my dad, they, you know, they, 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 they would take, they would take people in, and throughout my whole life, even from like. When I was four years old, people would come, be, live, be staying at her house, and at that time it was just oh, I just thought it was all family, you know, family living. And, but she really wanted to be a part of our family, and let me tell you, I made it hard for her, because to me, being the oldest boy, I thought this is my family, and every time she's a whole, I mean, fighting and arguing, and I just just lay it out on her. Why? Because I, I, at, there are certain times the way she would do things, and I said she just would expect that that was the, what our family does, and I would tell her that's not what we do, that's not how we operate, that's not how we roll. And I let her know that. She's go, 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 get lickings, fight at school, expect me. She's looking at me as like she looking at me as like brother, like uh, like like a brother, and I'm like. No, you didn't open your mouth. That's how we roll. Why? Because when dad taught, when we was taught, he said, if you're going to open your mouth, you better back yourself up. So when she would look at me later, I'm like, oh, how come you're not going to do nothing? Because I told her, you didn't open your mouth. But she stuck it out. That's the whole point of this story. She stuck it out. She had to learn what we will learn. From church to going back home. And she had to learn that what we, what dad them did in the church, we doing in the, at the house. You're not gonna do your own thing. You're not gonna come over here when your family, when your real family is treating you bad. And they come over here looking for sad story. It ain't working like that. And we got into each other's face. We got face to face. Like we was gonna ready for. And you know, my thing was always, okay, if I'm gonna hit her, dad gonna hit me, and that's not one fair fight. You like that, huh? Yeah, come on, brother. But no. But she stuck it out. She would meet with my mom and meet with my dad. How come this? And how come that? Until finally, the one day I, that I I gave her my respect was she came to all of us and she wanted to change her last name to our last name. I was like, wow. I was like, Hmm. That's commitment. That's the commitment we got to give to Jesus. The commitment we got to give to Jesus. We got to press in every day. I trust you, Lord. I trust what you're going to do. And I was like, when she said that, I was like, and then it was, was kind of, was, was 
was kind of funny because she was already engaged, and I, and she, because she wanted to, she wanted to know how we all felt. I said, "Well, I said, sis, you earned it. You didn't work hard, you know. There's a lot of things you have to learn that we will learn that has to be in the order of the house, and what you know. So yeah, I mean, I, I love you, I respect you, and if that's what you feel you gotta do. Then." You do what you gotta do, and that day I just I just seen that look on her face, and it was just the kind of a thing that you have to be there. And I was happy for her, but that's how we pursue Jesus in in our in our in our baby Christian years. When we, if you haven't received the Lord. There's some instructions that you're going to have to follow. There's some things that you're going to have to do to line up with the Word of God. And it's not going to be easy. There's going to be some things you're going to have to let go. There's going to be things you're going to have to remove yourself away from. There's going to be things you cannot just go running back when things get hard. You either stay in the family of God or, I don't know, you choose to to. To remove yourself from the family you're removing yourself from the covering I said I shared that to say that she pressed in we gotta press in whether you, you you're gonna receive Jesus tonight or you, you have Jesus in your heart it cannot be your way my younger sister struggling she making bad choices that's the choice you're going to have to live it. Why? Because she knows. She knows better. She knows the teachings. She sat at the feet of the bishop, the pastor, the, the dad. Sat at his feet. We sit at Jesus' feet all, all day and all we think is, oh, I'm just wrapping his feet. And he's talking to you. He's sharing with you, imparting it to you. What are you expecting from the word of God? What are you expecting for God to show you through his word? What are you expecting? What do you expect? Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. You know what I expected? I expected Jesus to heal my dad. I expected Jesus to raise him from the dead. I expected that. I was told that. I was taught that. So what happened, brother? I never followed the instructions. Put Jesus, then I put dad in between. Dad and Jesus. I never followed the instructions. So it's supposed to be Jesus first, then family. Jesus first, then wife. So when you don't get what you expect, Examine yourself. When you don't get what you expect, yeah, think about it. Did I not follow the instructions? I'm going to say probably not. Because we taught the values in this house. We taught the priorities in this house. We taught the word in this house. So we need to get it straight. I need to get it straight. most important instructions you can receive is that if you want to make it to heaven if you want to live eternally in heaven the word the word if you expect to live eternal in eternity because we're going it's eternal no matter what as it's been shared where you spend that eternity is up to you And if you're expecting to spend eternity in heaven and not in hell, then you need Jesus. You need to receive Jesus into your heart. It's really simple instructions. We laugh, yeah, if they don't receive you here, go to another place. But that's how simple the instructions is. If you want to spend eternity forever in heaven, streets of gold, come on now. 
the last time I was talking to you, like, I was like, guys, streets of gold. There's like, okay, wait, wait, no, streets of gold. Oh, streets of gold. You need to accept Jesus Christ into your heart. That's the only way. That's the only way. Hallelujah. So if that's you watching online, just raise your hand. Such a blessing because that's just between you and whoever's with you. Or if you're by yourself out there watching, it's just between you and God right now. Just raise your hand. Hallelujah. If you're in this house, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Just repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I believe that you died on the cross and you rose again on the third day. And from this day forward, my life will never, ever be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer online, hallelujah. Yes, give God some praise. If you pray that prayer online, contact us, wordoftruthmaui.org. Um, all the contact info, information is on there. Um, if you know Encouragement, prayer, uh, awesome website. Check it out, wordoftruthmaui.org. If you've been touched and the Lord bless your heart to give an offering or set, oh, excuse me, plant a seed, uh, go to the wordoftruthmaui.org and click on the Give Green button. Hallelujah. And bless God bless you guys. God bless our uh, online family on Oahu and, and California and around the world. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love and prayers for our, our house here. We love you guys. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.